Hey y'all, what's oh, I really don't like these glasses. <laughs> oh, these is preaching glasses for real. I ain't did these in so long. Hey y'all, listen, let me just do this real quick. Hope all is well with everybody. I wanted to touch bases on some things, and I guess I might as well just um do what I normally do and just hop on and just try my best to encourage the people, the ones that are left. Hey everybody, hope all is well. Hey, listen, so I wanted to touch bases on this because we do have other things in the world that's going on other than the government, okay? Uh, listen, as you guys are paying attention to a lot of the things going on, I do want to try my best to encourage you all. Thank you so much. Hey, y'all. Y'all been able to get back in my clothes almost, so, you know, I just had to, you know, dress up a little bit. Um, but oh, I hate these glasses. Oh, I'm not going nowhere to preach. Hold on. Um, honestly, the way I honestly feel about all this, and I was just telling London this morning, and that is, it's really beyond me, if this makes sense. It's really beyond me. You want to encourage the people. You want the best for what you believe in what you fellowship in and, and things of that nature. But um, it's going to be the same thing. I wish, Michelle, I wish, love, I wish I was coming there this weekend. Um, you want the best. You really do want the best. And I was listening to Bishop Jones and everybody last night and a lot of it was encouraging because, you know, they were saying the sentiments that I had been saying for God knows how long. But you all like, I, and I'm just saying this. Thank you, Gail. I'm just saying this because it's just a fact. They're doing elections and... They're doing elections and you all are not the focus. It's positions and titles and things. Let me just let me just remind you all who really don't matter. Let me just tell you all this and that's this. God is the same yesterday, today and forevermore. He has not changed and he won't change. God loves each and every last one of us. I don't care what sin they want to put on you and forget about their own sin. It doesn't even matter. God loves each and every last one of us. And it, and it does not take, it does not take church positions or titles or anything like that to make you feel. Hey, Tish, and thank you yesterday. It does not take a title or a position. Hey, uh, Antonio. It does not take any of those things to make you feel like God is on your side any more or any less. The sad part about it is this is the culture that we've been brought up in. Praise God. Praise God. This is the culture that we've been brought up in. Okay, Edwin. This is the culture that we've been brought up in. Talmus, we, we, we've been born and bred in the, in the church of God in Christ. There, as much as uh, as much tide that has gone on, you would think, right? You would think that the people would say, you know what? We need to change in order that not only God may be pleased, but the people may have a trust. The problem that we have to truly understand as, as sons, daughters, and grandchildren of this wonderful church and that is, we do not trust leadership. Y'all talk back to me. We don't trust leadership. We don't, y'all. Okay, so I ain't gonna get no amens. Oh, that, that's why. That's why. Hey, it's cool. It's cool. We don't trust leadership. We do not trust leadership. There has been so much stuff that has gone on, and we're sitting back like, okay, y'all gonna change? You gonna do better? Like, you gonna change this stuff up, right? Y'all, y'all going y'all gonna focus on us from now, right? You gonna, you gonna, you gonna ask us our opinion from now, right? Huh? Helen, hey Helen, hey baby. 
We don't, we don't trust leadership because they do things for the sake of a financial gain. And I'm only here just reporting live, okay? I'm, I'm not reporting what was reported to me, but I'm just reporting the truth. We don't trust leadership. We don't trust it. Because even though we're, we're hoping that they get some of our favorite people in the position, and oh my God, you know, we want to see, oh, we want to see Drew Sheard as the presiding bishop, and we want to see Karen, and woo! But there's been too much damage done. It's been too much damage done. And from the looks of it, they don't want to change. From the looks, from the looks of the things that's transpiring, Marcus. <laughs> from the looks of things that's transpiring, like y'all, we, 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 we going, we going in the same boat again. Hello? We're going in the same boat again. We're just ele we're, we're electing people for the sake of names, for the sake of titles and positions. Half these folks ain't saved. Okay, Mario, bring it back in. <laughs> well, bring it, bring it back in, Giles. Bring, bring it back in. Don't, don't get a fever too much yet. Too much yet. Here's the thing. Half of these people, half of these people that are jumping in these positions are only getting these people, are only getting these positions because they know somebody. Lakeisha, they know somebody that knows somebody. And I'm just like, at the end of the day, at the end of the day, what we've done, Ty, what we've done. Okay, James said, why do I feel like the Shears will be a good fit? I mean, come on now, like seriously. Hey, James, what's going on, brother? I, I'm, I'm, just, I'm just telling y'all like this. I have not given up on the church. Well, I have not given up on the church. I've not given my main focus is, hey, Miko, my main focus is I've not given up on God. That that's where I stand. That's where I stand with it. I ain't gave up on God. Hey, Woody, Tish, I ain't gave up on God. I just to some degree. I've learned to let it be what it's going to be. Will I still support the church of God in Christ? Absolutely. Absolutely. That's, that will always be my foundation. Always be my foundation. And I'm going to always have something to say because I got a mouth and I'm going to talk. Okay? That part. But I'm telling you, the, the church, the church is so business now. You know, I mean, I, I understand it takes money to run it. But while you running it, hello, while you running it, you are running over the souls. You are running over the people. You are running over the laity. Okay? You are running over the laity. Where, where is the spirit? Where is the spirit of God? I heard Bishop Jones say this last night. He said, while we are so concerned, while we are so concerned with People's faults and alts and 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 sins and 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 bents and ints and carrying on and stuff like that. Whatever happened to just exemplifying what we preach? Whatever happened to exemplifying the light of God? Whatever, whatever. No, that's not what I'm saying, James. That's, I'm not saying that if they put Sheard in, it would be a good business move. Hey, cousin, what's going on? What I am saying is that if they were to put Bishop Sheard in there as the presiding bishop, I do believe that Bishop Sheard, and I'm a Sheard man, okay? I, I don't care what y'all say. I like Bishop Sheard. Bishop Sheard ain't paid me to say none of this stuff. I just actually happen to like them, period. Um. I believe that Bishop Sheard, there is a sincerity. 
I believe there's an authentic authenticity as it relates to Bishop Sheard. I really believe that Bishop Sheard not only loves God, but he loves God's people. I really do. I really do. I just, I'm serious. I, I feel, I feel that. Okay. That just, that's just me. Okay. That, that's just how I feel. Okay. Um, and I also, he's a great businessman. Period. Okay. Um, that, that's just my thought. That's my feeling as it relates to these, to, to, to Bishop. Okay. Tish. Tish. Girl, about to turn my camera on. <laughs> I'm not going to play with you with Bishop Porter. Let me tell y'all something. And, I, and I, I'm going to say this publicly. I'm going to say this publicly. Okay. I'm going to say this publicly because as I'm looking at some of these people, as I'm looking at some of these people, I'm going to tell you like this. As it relates to Bishop Porter, <sighs> Bishop Porter's cool. He's a cool guy. A lot of people like him because he has that pimp mentality. A lot of women, a lot of women like him because he got that pimp mentality. And, and honey, you know what I'm saying? They just, they, they got caught up in that, that money making it right. I was there. They got caught up in the money flying everywhere. But I'm going to tell you something. Bishop Porter is a businessman. That I do know. That I do know personally. Uh, Bishop Porter is, this is just me, y'all, because I, I miss, I miss, I was his, uh, one of his elders at his church. Bishop Porter is consumed with himself. Hands down, Bishop Porter is consumed with himself and marketing. Hey, De Deborah, and marketing and his self, his self, his self, his self, his self. His self, his self, his self, his self, his self. His self, his self, his self. Y'all, let us focus on God, not you. I love Bishop Porter. I really do. I just. I don't I don't know what to say. It's, it's just Marcus, am I lying? It's just a fact. And I'm like, we, we don't need we don't need. We don't need. A Donald Trump. We don't need a Donald Trump leading the church of God in Christ, if that makes sense. We don't, okay, we don't need a Donald Trump leading the church of God in Christ. Hey, Mama Donna, we don't need a Donald Trump leading the church of God in Christ. We don't need a Donald Trump trying to lead the church with a strong hand and making the people feel like they're less than. We don't need that. I'm just saying, hey, Tina, y'all, I... I Baby, and, and then when it came down to it, y'all, let's go back. Let's go back. When that mess went on, <laughs> when, when that mess went on with Andrew Cardwell, when that mess went on, what did Bishop Porter come right behind there and say? Bishop Porter said he was the cause of that. He said he was, I was there, baby. I was a member of his church. He said he is the deliverance preacher. That's nothing to brag about. Ms. Dolores, no. That's nothing to brag about. Tate, I'm saying that's nothing to brag about. Now, now we got this fool trying to lie line all over the internet just for what? That will for Andrew Cardwell will forever be etched in, in somewhere up in the church of God in Christ. Be, not as a good thing, though. As a bad thing. Yo, that's that's bad. That's bad. Don't don't nobody care nothing about no Andrew Nisha card. Well, baby, sister, baby, ain't nobody stunned about Andrew. But again, this will forever be a situation with the church because of how it was handled. It will forever be a situation. It will forever be a situation in this church because of how it was handled. Andrew Carwell is an embarrassment. He is not delivered and he still won't meet. <laughs> for real, for real, period. I don't have nothing against Andrew except when he keep coming for me. 
But I'm just saying, y'all, like he does things just to stay relevant. And he keep telling y'all how delivered he is. That's a mess. I don't have to tell you how delivered I am. I just live it. Period. So here's the thing. <laughs> I, I mean, y'all, like, let's let's just make that make sense. I feel like, and this, let me let me just make this plain. Okay, let me just make this plain. I feel like if the Andrew Cogwell situation had been handled different, you know, Andrew wouldn't be where he is today. I feel like if Bishop Porter hadn't gave him the mic, we wouldn't be thinking about it, Andrew Cogwell right now because before he went to da -da 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 doing all this foolishness right there, somebody would have got that mic. All right, God bless you. Go on about your business because this is not showtime at the retardo station, okay? This is not showtime for that. I feel like if the whole Earl Carter situation had been handled differently, we would not be in the situation that we are now. Because the fact of the matter is they put Earl Carter up to do this. This is not his first time. This is not the second time or third time that, that Earl Carter has done what he's done. Okay. Earl Carter is, is a churchman and he is, he is no different from anybody else in this church. Real talk, real talk. Earl Carter is not no different from what any other preacher has said. Earl Carter said it one year. And got drugged and bashed, right? Two years later, Bishop Patrick Wooten came up and said the exact same thing. Y'all, am I lying? Am I lying? Patrick Wooten got up and said the same thing and drug and dog William McCray publicly on the platform. Serious. It's, it's the real, it's the real situation. Mother Kelly came up. Mother Kelly came up and, and, and did the same thing too. Nobody said nothing about that. Nobody said nothing about that. But again, y'all, if, if, this, if this is God's church. Hey, Deborah, happy birthday. Happy birthday, sister. If this is God's church. If this is God's church, Tina. And we're supposed to be operating and supposed to be vessels of God. How do we lead? How do we lead by killing people? How do we lead by putting public mockeries on display? How? Shoot. How do we lead, y'all? How do we lead? When we're wrong, we don't even apologize. Come on now. When we're wrong, we don't even apologize. Let me tell y'all something. When I had an alt, when I had an alt against uh, uh, Elder Earl, Pastor Earl, Bishop Earl, when I had an alt against him, I drove my butt from Tampa to Orlando and I knocked on his door. Why? Because that used to be my pastor. That used to be my pastor. And before I, and even when I would say things publicly about Earl Carter, I would make sure I'm like, I wouldn't go in too far because why? That is still my senior. You know why I say that y'all? Because I was raised up to respect my elders. I don't care how far we go. I was still raised up to respect my elders. I know. I just took it up. I just saw it. Y'all, I ain't wore this. I have not worn this jacket. <laughs> I have not worn this jacket. Baby, I ain't wore this Tommy Hill figure in God knows how long. Y'all may be able to get back in my clothes. Huh? Praying God. Um, so, so seriously, when I had a problem, when I when I had a problem with Ur, with, with, with uh Bishop Earl, I went to him and we talked. And I sat at his house and we had a conversation. Now, what he did afterwards was something totally different. Okay? It was something totally different. But again, I knew how far to go. I knew how far to go. 
One, me and your kids grew up together. You know what I'm saying? Me and your children grew up together. But again, this is what we lack in the church. We don't respect one another. We don't trust one another. That's the problem. But we can get up and under lo 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 kai k la la k k shut them tongues down. You speaking in tongues in 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 all kind of tongues, but you lying in a, in in English. You speaking in tongues, but you cussing folks out in English. Y'all, I'm serious. We don't even love one another. We don't respect one another. We don't care for each other. But we have we have, we are fake. That's what we are. We're fake. What we need to do is bring our butt on down here to the altar and get it right. We don't need to elect no more bishops. None. No more bishops. Lead them folks right there. Wait, wait, wait. wait. <laughs> Listen. <laughs> We don't need to elect no more bishops. None. We need to clean up the church. I've been saying this. We need to clean it up. The spirit that we're operating in is wrong. We are not representing God. We ain't representing Christ. We ain't representing the Holy Spirit at all. Period. We are representing ourselves. That part. We are representing ourselves. And if Earl Carter makes a video about me and drags me, obviously Bishop Earl has a problem with what I'm saying because I'm not up here glorifying. I'm not up here glorifying anything. I'm just saying we need to get right as a people because none of us have made it in. None of, our, none of us have seen the Lord. Hey, auntie, I'm being serious, y'all. None of us. See, y'all go ahead. You go ahead on and mark it. Who going to be the next presiding or the presiding or the presiding or the presiding? At the end of the day, it don't matter. It don't matter because church, if y'all ain't going to change, none of this stuff going to change. We're going to be coming to convocation with our good suits on because y'all, huh, baby, I got a whole closet full. We're going to be coming to church with our good suits on and our good knits and our hats. And some of y'all going to be coming look a good, horrible mess because some of y'all don't know what couture is. You don't know what fashion is. Some of y'all coming there looking a horrible, ratchet mess. I said it. Y'all coming there looking a horrible, ratchet mess trying to be on display. Ain't got no God, no Holy Ghost, no Jesus, no Yah, no nothing on the inside of you. You coming and lifting up holy, nasty, dirty hands trying to be seen. With pearls and St. John's on. And you know what? Bishop Jones, Bishop Jones said it best uh, last night. And he said, he said, we need to exemplify and show God. That's what we need to do. We need to exemplify and show God. How are we trying to get somebody saved? How are we trying to get somebody saved when we not saved? We're not living what we preach. That's what Bishop Jones said last night. I didn't say this. The Negroes watch me. I'm the one out here saying it. So now the bishops is starting to say it. How are we, how, 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 how am I going to tell y'all to get saved and to do right. And I'm out here doing everything under the sun. And please, for God's sake, I'm, I'm going to tell y'all like this right here. For God's sake, for God goodness sake, please don't bring up this homo stuff no more. Because I'm going to tell y'all right now, you don't know nothing. The only thing you know is what I told you. Huh? You know, you ain't never seen me do anything. I just told you something. But you got so many, y'all, I, I wasn't trying to go here, but you got so many preachers, right? You got so many preachers that have been caught up in all kinds of things, but yet and still, they get to stand up on the pulpit. 
they get to stand up on the pulpit and preach, and we sit back to, yay, God, yay, God, hallelujah, glory, man, what, what, no. So you just got caught up in a scandal two, three weeks ago, and you get to go again, again, we we allow things to go on because that's our buddy. That's how we, we rub elbows together. What James, what are we telling the what are we telling the peoples? What are we telling the people? What are we telling the people? You're telling the people, we're telling the people that it's okay. It's okay. Do what you want to do. As long as you know somebody and know somebody, you're going to still operate. We're we, we going we gonna to sit you down for two days and we'll just, just openly and just say, I'm sorry. It don't mean nothing. Y'all stand up and y'all give a half butt apology and carrying on and then you go on doing the same thing again. Y'all make it make sense. Make it make sense. This is a church. This is the church and Samantha Ortiz. Here is the thing, mama, because I just saw what you just said. Here is the thing. They love, they love, they love, they love to harp on one thing. But baby, there's a book. Wait, 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 where the Bibles? Where the Bibles? Get my Bibles. Y'all love to harp on one sin. But baby, there's a sin for you. And there's a sin for me. Everybody's in that book. Honey, I don't care if you're an adulteress. I don't care if you're a liar. We lie every day. Oh, no, I don't. I'm saved, Josh. I bit, oh, God almost said something. You lie every day. Honey, half y'all commit adultery with your eyes. Honey, y'all sin with your eyeballs. Honey, half y'all fat. You obese. Obesity is a sin. It's an abomination before the Lord. That we don't even take care of our temples. That's an abomination. Hello? Stop harping on something and let's just come before God real talk and let's just say, you know, here am I. Baby, I feel Nathaniel Simmons this morning. Here am I, Lord. Here am I. I ain't right. Even though they got me traveling around here preaching in Canada, I'm not right, Lord. I got a problem. I am like the, what they said in the Bible. I got a thorn in my flesh that just won't leave me. And it's not an issue. It 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 it, it ain't it ain't it ain't it ain't uh, what they, what else they want to call it? It ain't it ain't uh 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 an uh, issue, it's not a problem. It's this is my life. This was going on. This was going on with me. <laughs> Charles said, no sin have I done. I've been saved all day. <laughs> but seriously, though, seriously. We so self-righteous. We are so self-righteous. Hold on, I got to change my glasses. Hold on, Jerry. So the real talk, y'all, I just, like I'm watching all of these delegations go on. I'm watching all of these people sit out here and, and they want to take positions and stuff like that, which is cool, which is cool. I want y'all, I want y'all to be in position. I want y'all, I want y'all to do all the things. I want y'all to do, hey, Jeff, I want y'all to, to do all of this and, and to excel and to be where you want. I want you to do it. 
Because that's some of y'all aspiration is just to be a bishop in the church. You ain't got no skill. You ain't got no trade. But y'all, let's go, let's go back to the Bible. Let's go back to the Bible, Dante. Let's go back to the Bible. And that's this. Jesus. Jesus, right? Oh, I like these. Jesus was a carpenter. He was the son of God. Yeah, he was. He was the son of God. Oh, these got this tortoise shell. He was the son of God. The son of God had a, a, a secular job. Had a secular job. But y'all talking about we are full-time ministry. Jesus not only worked, but he worked the gospel. And he also lived a life. Y'all done got rich. Baby, y'all done got rich. Y'all done got rich off the sinks. Y'all done got rich off the sinks. That, that's what y'all have. Y'all done got rich off. I don't like these. Y'all done got rich off the sinks. And now y'all are untouchable. Y'all done got rich off the sinks. And y'all is untouchable. Yeah, I like this look. This is cute right here. Y'all done got rich off the sinks and y'all is untouchable. How, how, do you, how do you get rich off the people now that people can't even have a conversation with you? Huh? How, 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 do you, how do you get rich and have y'all to became millionaires and caring off the people and now you untouchable? Like, where they do, where they do that at? Where, where they do that at? And then, now, now here, here's, 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 here's the thing, y'all. Now, now, Jacqueline, Miss Jacqueline, you ain't, you ain't a successful preacher if you ain't driving a Rolls Royce. You ain't a successful preacher if you ain't driving a Mercedes Benz. You not a successful preacher if your wife or you a pal, female pastor or whatever and you ain't around here rocking red bottoms. When did materialistic things become the focus? When did materialistic things become the focus? I thought it was souls. I thought it was that God is being, and why are we, why, why, for God, Lord, wait a minute. Hold on, wait a minute now, wait a minute. Why are we advertising what we buy in? Why are we advertising what we buy in? Why are we advertising the cars that we drive? Why? Why are, we, why are we advertising that we got a big old mansion? Why, why are we advertising this thing? Oh, because the world doing it? Because they doing it on the TV? And you want to be known as a successful preacher? Really? Why? Every time I see y'all in a picture, don't get me wrong, I, I, I'm guilty of it. I've done it too. You got to sit out here and, and put your shoe up. Y'all, you got you, you to put your shoe up so the people can see your shoes. You got you to gotta put your shoe up. So I want you to see I got on red bottoms. Huh? I want you to see I got on red bottoms. Why? We see them when you walk. We see them when you walk. That... The soul is supposed to be on your feet and on the ground. Don't about that, that, but you know that's that's nigga stuff, y'all. That's you know that's Jeff. I know you are you my you my you my you my light skinned cousin. That you you, you just your car you 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 you're my light skinned cousin. That's nigga stuff. That's nigga stuff. That that's what we do as black people. We get a little piece of change, right? We get a little piece of change and then we go, we want to advertise that we got on some, you know, we got on Hugo Boss. And, you know, this is the reason why we were labels. 
This is the reason why we, this is the reason why the ladies, hello somebody, this is the reason why the ladies are so big on wearing uh, monograms and, and embellished monograms and maybe they got to have a purse. With the monographs, they want you to see they got Gucci and they got Louis Vuitton and half of them Gucci is Uchi. They how they want to advertise they got some Uchi and some and some some Lewis some Lewis Victor. They got some Lewis Victor. <laughs> hey, Louis Vuitton is Lewis Victor. Okay, we got Lewis Victor on baby. I'm tired. I'm tired. We have went from wanting the glory of God to be seen. I want you to see my labels. Baby, we sit in the pulpit with our feet out like this so you can see the bottom of our, of our shoes. Oh, God. Oh, God, Jackie. Jacqueline. Oh, let's not forget the channels. It ain't Chanel. Baby, they right here walk, rocking channels. Okay? Y'all out here rocking fake stuff because y'all want to be seen like y'all got all this stuff. Man, who cares? Who cares? Half y'all can barely afford to pay y'all rent. Oh, did I say that out loud? Did I say that out loud? Half y'all can barely afford to pay your rent. And we doing all of this stuff. It's vain glory. Oh, child. Baby, they ain't rock. Honey, they, they wish they was rocking a Birkin bag. <laughs> They rocking buckles. That's what they want. <laughs> ha! Oh God, honey, they rocking buckles. They're not Birkin. They rocking burkles. That they rocking burkles. That's what they rocking burkles. Y'all, I'm telling you, man. Like seriously, y'all. Like for real. Like y'all, we caught up in materialistic stuff. We caught up in materialistic stuff. Why? Ain't nothing wrong with it. There's nothing wrong, Samantha and uh, Auntie Pat. There's nothing wrong with having nice things. But when nice things become your focus, that's a problem. But let me say this. Let me say this to y'all. I have grown to understand that everybody ain't going to get it. Everybody's not going to get it. I'm just, I'm just one of the ones who just cry loud, okay? I'm just one of the ones who cry loud and don't give a daggone about your feelings. Real talk. Real talk. The church has always, this ain't nothing new. This is nothing new. The church has always been not the house of God, but a slaughterhouse. We advertise. Oh, God. We advertise, Jesus is here. Jesus is here. Hallelujah, Jesus is here. Bo, 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 Cito. Jesus is here. Come get saved. And baby, you come right on to that church and get slayed, filleted, flambéed, boiled, grilled, all this stuff. Period. Okay, John, that's my cousin. Man, we go to church, gets flambe, grill, <laughs> skewered, <laughs> all kind of stuff. That's what we do. Okay, I'm trying to tell you. This is what we do. And then we 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 train the people. Come on, I'm gonna talk this morning. I'm I'm gonna talk this morning. We train the people. We train the people that this type of behavior and this type of talk is acceptable. Really? We don't even, we, we train them that this type of behavior, Joseph, is acceptable. John, we teach them that this type, that if the preacher talk to you like this, it's acceptable. And then we go to the world and we complain when police officers treat us like trash. You you take this mess from your pastor. And then, oh, let, let me hit let me hit this on the head. Let, let me let me let me just stick the head in, okay? Let me just let me hit this thing on the head real quick. Then in the church, 
We don't even teach the men how to be real men. We teach them how to be jellyback and fools. These men don't even know how to take care of their wives, but they look good on pictures. Oh, yeah, God. They look good on pictures. They look good on pictures. Huh? They look good on pictures. This is what we teach the people. Honey, we, hold on, hold on, we speaking in tongues. And baby, our life is a wreck at home. Our life is a wreck at home. And then the women, baby, we, we train them up to be just as stupid. Where's my offering? <laughs> I'm preaching this morning. Hello, I'm preaching. I'm preaching better than y'all responding. We, te we, we teach the people and we train the women how to be submissive and to be ignorant fools. That's what, that's what we do. We train the women how to be ignorant fools. And we teach the men how to be undercover homosexuals, undercover whores, as long as don't nobody know about it. That, that. Like how how is that right? We we train and teach the men how to how to cover up their foolishness and can't on. You can still be a hoe, but just don't let the church know. You can still be a hoe and cover up yourself real good. Real good. Meanwhile, go marry you some woman, and then you gotta teach her how to accept your foolishness. Y'all tell me where I'm wrong. Tell me where I'm wrong. You teach the women how to accept the men in their whorish ways. And these women know that their husband don't want them. And half the women don't want their husband either. Both of them was, both of them was doing some other stuff, but they was put together because what, what do we do? What do we do in church, y'all? What, what, what do we do in church? We are a living epistopal. We are a living epistopal of the movie, My Fair Lady. Anybody, anybody is a movie buff? Y'all know movies? We live out the movie, My Fair Lady. We live out the, y'all talk, come on y'all, talk back to me this morning. Talk back to me this morning. We live out the movie, My Fair Lady. We take these men who know how to dress women and carry on. They take women that don't nobody look at, put a few good rags on their back and make them look like something, make them presentable. And then there we go. Cut the last. And here she go with her hand out so you can see her little cubic zagonium. Hey girl, how you doing? Y'all got married? Yes, girl, yeah. Oh, yes. And look at the children. Look at all my seven children. Look at all my seven children. God bless. Hi. Hey girl. And we just. This is what we do. And then she's sitting there nowadays. She's sitting there on her phone. Ain't got no ounce of spirit. Ain't got an ounce of nothing. Just, just sitting there twiddling her thumbs in the church. How did she don't know how to pray? She don't know how to fast. She don't know how to seek the face of God. And your husband just as crooked as it want to be. But this is what we have done. This is what we've done in the church. We raised up idiots. We have, Jason, we've raised up idiots. And this is supposed to be the representation of God. You don't like what I'm saying? You have a problem with the Lord. How about that? Because that's what you're supposed to be preaching out your book. Tell me I'm wrong. We don't even, who has been a good represent, like, who has been a good representation of the Father? Who? Who? 
Who really take care of their kids and don't be out here cheating on their wife? Who really loves their spouse, male or female? Who really loves their spouse? Because the Bible says, and it holds true, you may fool some and you may even fool some of the very elect, but you ain't going to fool us all. Honey, we can see. We can see. Hey, Andre, we can see with or without good glasses. And then God, for God's sake, Jason, this younger generation, honey, they so reckless with it. It's ridiculous. You got more young men dying from HIV and foolishness in the church than a man in the moon. Because they want to play church. They want to play church. And still be hoes. And then y'all want to lie on Facebook. Oh, they was a mighty man of God. They was a mighty man of a hoe. That's what they were. A mighty whole man of God. Y'all make that make sense. We raised another generation to do foolishness. We raise another generation of men. Y'all, I'm, I'm talking to the men. Because first of all, ladies, y'all know I defend y'all all day long. But it's some bull crap y'all be doing too. But let me tell y'all young men something. When I, the next time I see a 23-year-old bishop, I promise you, I'm blowing a head gasket. I'm blowing a head gasket. The next time I see a 17-year-old elder, a uh, uh, bishop, apostle, I'm, I'm, I promise you, I listen here. Mm -mm. No, 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 no. Are you serious? How are you 23 and you a spiritual father? I, yo, oh, I want to, oh, 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 we, oh, 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 we, oh, God, oh, father. How are you 17? You and some, you somebody's spiritual father. How you 30 and you somebody's spiritual father? Are you serious right now? You barely got Similac off your breath. You somebody's spiritual. What? You somebody's spiritual father. You need a father yourself. And half y'all niggas got daddy issues. I'm somebody. That's my son in the gospel. And y'all women do the same mess too. That's my daughter in the gospel. God bless you, daughter. I love you. God bless you. Ma'am, sir. No. No, 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 no. You ain't nobody. Listen here. You better be somebody's cousin. Hear me? You better be somebody. <laughs> you better be somebody's cousin. You better be somebody's cousin. You 18, 13 years old talking about I'm a pastor. A pastor of what? TP Church of God in Christ? TP Baptist by the wayside? If you're going to sit out somewhere, who you finna talk to? You better put your minister collar back on and get someone to have a seat. You ain't been through nothing. You don't even know how to clean the toilets of the church good. Going around here wearing a, a bishop's ring and carrying on. You want to thank you somebody's elder up here. You want to lead over somebody. Are you serious? This is what this is what we've done. This is what we've done. We've made these young people thirsty for titles. We've made these young people thirty thirsty for positions. But niece, let me help you out with something. Y'all can't even afford the offerings when they call for the offerings. Shantae, they can't, you can't even afford to pay half the offering. Period. And then you get mad. You get mad when somebody calls you to the carpet. Let me tell you something. You have to work and pave the way to be in these roles, in these positions. You are not an apostle. You do not have works. Y'all, listen here. An apostle was a starter of works. What work have you started? You want to be a bishop? What A bishop and apostle is the same thing. What work have you started?
You said, what does age have to do with it? First of all, first of all, let me tell you something. Let me, let me make this very plain. How, how in the world are you going to lead somebody? You going to lead somebody and you've never been through anything. How can I be, how can, how can I go and take the position as a, a, a general and I've never fought in a war? Huh? How can I take the position as a king and I've never led anybody? I've never been anybody's predecessor. I've never walked with the king. I've never fought with the king. How can I be the bishop and I've never led anybody? How can I be the bishop and I've never overseed, walked with, built? I've never done any of those things. Age has a big thing to do with it. You want to be 12 and want to be a bishop and you've never led anybody. Let me ask you a question. How many souls you led to Christ? Huh? How, 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 many, how many people have you went out and ministered to? Have you did homeless shelter ministry? Have you went out and fed the, fed the sick and the shut in? Have you done any of those things? No, you have not. Exactly. In order for you to have a testimony that this is who I am, I first have to pass the test. Ain't nobody going through none of that stuff. Ain't no, nobody going through none of this stuff. And half these folks we making bishops and still ain't even qualified. Half these people that we're making bishops still are not qualified. Still ain't qualified. This is the church, not just the church of God in Christ, but this is the church. This is the church. I'm going to say it again. This is the church. The church has done this and continues to do this. Y'all young men are taking these titles as, as ministers. You ain't even ready to be a minister yet. You don't even know how to effectively put a scripture together with a, uh, uh, a text. Just because you can, oh, y'all, where, where's my app? Just because you can sit out here and ho, hit, hum a little bit, hmm, just because you can hum a little bit, now we want to throw you in the pulpit. No, 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 sit down right there. Sit down, sit down right there. Sit down right there. Sit down. You ain't ready. I can, I can, I can preach too. Sit down. You ain't ready. Oh, I look like a bishop. You ain't ready. You ain't ready, niece. <laughs> Yeah, I'm sorry. Whew, I got to bring it back. Bring it back in, guys. Don't do it to him. That's for Friday. <laughs> bring, bring it back in. Bring it back in. Thank you, Tish. Bring it back in. Bring it back in. Bring it back in. Bring it back in. Honey, just because you can say, God said, uh, I will. Uh, mm, uh, mm, mm. Honey, just because you sound good doing that, don't mean you're ready. Don't mean you're ready. Sit down. And then what make it so bad, <laughs> then what make it so bad, you get mad, you get mad, you get mad, Orion, they get mad because you don't want to put them up to preach, so now they go church hopping. So now we got some mad, disgruntled church hoppers that get upset because you won't let them get up in tune. And now there we go, well, why are you over here? Because, you know, child, they was jealous of my anointing. They was jealous of me. Ain't nobody jealous of you. We ain't not finna let that untamed spirit get up in the church just because you got a gift. And you can, ooh, uh, 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 and we, you sound good with the organ behind you. Uh-uh, sit down. Your spirit need to be in check. Y'all, I'm, I'm, I'm not sorry. I'm old school. Okay, I'm old school with it. 
You ain't even controlled your penis yet. You still swinging dick in the church. Oh, y'all, this, I'm sorry. This, this for Friday. This Friday talk, y'all. Oh, listen, I just, y'all pray for me that I don't slip up and use some profanity words. Cause I'm trying to tell you right now, I'm sick of this church. I'm that little boy at 36. I'm sick of this church. Y'all women can't keep your legs closed. You men, you men can't keep your dangling in your pants. And you want to be up preaching in and everywhere. Sat down. Sat down. <laughs> you said put the music on. Hold on. Hold on, Jerry. Wait a minute. Wait one second. Hold on here. Wait on, wait on one second. Wait a minute. Hold on, y'all. Where that thing go? Okay, there it go right there. I, I'm just, hold on. Y'all, I'm trying to make it make sense. I'm trying to make sense. And then we put these people up because they we train them. We train them to be good hoopologists. We train them. We train them, right? We train them to do what we do. We train them. We train them to look the part. We train them to be able to go, and, and then, and then they, they know how to hoop. Oh, they sound good. Oh, they, so, oh, they sound good. And that's why they go to the Baptist church, because the Baptist church pay them to be pastors, and they, they pay them to be good entertainers. So as long as you can say, and God said, am I in the wrong key? God will. He will take care of you. No matter what you're going through, God, we hear him. Yeah, yeah. Honey, ain't got no power, no oil. But baby, I'm telling you, they can sit out here and they can tell you and make you, whoa, yeah, you better say that. Honey, it's entertainment. You ain't got no oil. You ain't got, you ain't even got no grease. But you can say, oh, yeah. I know he's all right. Touch your name and say, I know he's all right. Yeah. Touch your name and say, ain't he all right? Yeah. Musicians, I need you to take me out of that key. Yeah. I don't think that's the right key either, but all right. Yeah. Ooh. That's all we do, y'all. That, that's, that's all we do. And then we teach them how to be proper liars. And that's how you get money. That's how you get money. That's what we do. And that's the next, that is the, that has been the next wave. Half y'all are not prophets. Y'all are soothsayers. This we we train people how to be professional pimps and hoes in the church. I'm gonna say it one more time, but y'all back there in the back. We have trained people how to be professional pimps and hoes in the church. We have trained them how to be musician, mu uh, magicians. We've trained them how to perform tricks. We've trained them how to do juggle balls and things and stuff in the church. Ain't got to live nothing. But you want to be somebody prophet. When was the last time you was accurate? <laughs> when was the last time that you were accurate and on point? When was the last time that God actually spoke to you? I'm just, hey, when was the last time? See, because the, the spirit of God or Orion does not operate off your thoughts, your feelings, or your emotions. The spirit of God speaks directly and he is accurate. Y'all, come on now. God does not need to sit out here and ask you where, where you live. 
God does not need to ask you when your birthday. God does not need, first of all, when, okay, can God speak right now? First of all, when God speaks, he just going to, can I use you? Okay, come on up here. Come on. Ma'am, thus said the Lord, boop, 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 boop. And he going to hit you like a shotgun. Thrrr, pow. That's, that's what I'm talking about. I don't have to ask you no questions. The spirit of the Lord just spoke to me and said, bam, there it go right there. You can't come to me after church and ask me, well, see, God, I, I was wondering, ma'am, I, I don't even remember what I just told you. The Lord spoke and that's it, period. I don't need to count to you about what God said. He said, get that nigga out your bed. I don't even know you. I don't know you from Adam's apple. Who is Raekwon? He said, go get Raekwon up and tell Raekwon to get up out your house. Period. Hey, Taj. Period. Make it make sense. We don't, we, those prophets, Orion, are in hiding. Those prophets are in hiding because they're not accepted. Because we raised up some jelly bag fools to do what God has commissioned the real prophets to do. Y'all, how long I've been on? I'm, I'm serious. I'm, I'm, I'm so serious. I'm so serious. Baby, I remember y'all, who y'all, y'all, listen, I'm from, I'm, I'm really from the South. Uh, I remember we have a, a, a very close family friend of ours in our family, baby mother Blackman from, uh, from Arkansas. Baby mother Blackman be all so on point. Mama Glenda. Baby, mama, mama, black women be so on point. Baby, it's just something about real people. They're not trying to be seen or anything, but they got real oil on their life. They ain't got Crisco. They got real pressed oil on their life. It's been on them forever. Baby, mother, black man would sit out here and she, I mean, like you ain't got to be no one. You don't have to know her. She ain't got to know you. You know what? You Okay. Y'all know who I'm talking about. Baby, Mama Blackman would sit out here and just, baby, you need to stop. Ain't got, we ain't got to say, thus said the Lord God. Oh, praise God. Baby, um, you don't need to do such and such a thing because that you're going you gonna to be in jail, baby. In, in three weeks, if you don't stop that stuff, you're going to be in jail. Don't stop that stuff. You're going to be in Period. Where y'all at? Where where you at? I remember Mama Blackman told me, Mama Blackman, we was on the phone talking. And she said, she said, Demario, she said, God is using you. She said, but there are people that don't like it. Be careful, son. Because people want to hurt you because of what you're saying. She said, but don't worry. God going to protect you. You just keep spreading and speaking God's truth. She wasn't ever lying. It was folks who did want to do some things to me. We are doing the very same thing the Bible talked about. We got people that are that are operating in foreign spirits and they're doing everything for titles and positions. What you said, Mama Glenda? She said, baby, she would sit and holler, boy, you better stop or you're going to get hurt in the boy. Period, period, period. See, you need real people that really got and, and all with God, you need them type of people around you. Them type of people. You don't have to like what I'm saying, but it's facts. Out of everything that I just said, it's facts. She never miss. And she wasn't looking for no offering either. Baby, where them real men and women that really heard from God? She, would, she didn't, Mama Glenda, she didn't call 
every day God said and God said and the spirit of the Lord spoke to me and and God is speaking right now and and God no baby what no God don't speak every day and that's the problem with y'all people that's the problem you have gotten accustomed to proper line for money This is the reason why we got Todd Halls. This is the reason why we got a Brian Carr. This is the reason why we got a Wani the Bottom. This is the reason why we got all these folks out here, these evangelicals that want to lie and say Donald Trump was going to be the president. When are y'all going to make that right? When are y'all going to call them people to the carpet? To the carpet. Y'all sat here and lied on the spirit of God. Y'all sat here and lied and said, thus said the Lord, and God made y'all look like a complete ass. Or should I say donkey? Nobody is held accountable for their actions. Nobody. Nobody. Nobody's held accountable for their actions. You want to be a man of God, but you can't control your, you, you can't control your body. You want to be a man of God, but you too, you too busy trying to wear your clothes so tight so the people can see your, the crack of your booty and your dingling print. Y'all women right here, when I'm, I'm just, I'm being honest, y'all. The church is not the church anymore. It is a place of entertainment. Y'all women right here wearing body con dresses and your nipples is sticking out like this. Can't nobody focus. Hello? Hello? You, I, I know y'all, women, let me tell y'all, some of y'all women are so beautiful, and I love to see, I love to see y'all in body con dress because y'all are really beautiful. You really are. You really are beautiful. But there's a time and a place for everything. There's a time. I'm not telling you to wear moo moves, anything. Baby, there's a time and a place for everything. Baby, I don't, I don't want to be distracted that bad up in church. I don't. And baby, I have eyes, regardless of whatever I told you I was. If I told you I was a hermane sexual, baby, please let, let please let me tell you the truth. I have eyeballs and I see. Okay? I see them things. Say, hello! Hello! <laughs> Period. Come on now. Like, like, let's let's keep it a hundred. You know what you're doing. Y'all men know what y'all doing too. Period. Y'all pants shouldn't be that tight. That tight. When are we going to bring integrity or in? <laughs> Come on, Kay. When are we going to bring integrity back in the church? I'm not telling y'all to wear long dresses because, baby, you a hoe. You can hike that mug up. You a hoe. You can just unzip them britches and boom, boom, there you go. But I'm just saying, when are we going to bring integrity back in the house of God? That's for real. When are we going to bring integrity back in the house of God? Did I lose you? Do, do you want... When do, do I need to tune up for you? When are we gonna bring integrity back in the house of God? When when are we gonna stop lying and saying God said and He ain't said nothing? When when oh when when are we gonna stop? Being hoes in the church. When are we gonna really lay prostrate, prostrate before the Lord? When, when are we gonna live right finally? Take me out that key. When are we gonna live what we preach? When, 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 
when, y'all? When? 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 I'm just, I'm just saying when. When? Don't nobody want to be involved no more. And half these people, Samantha, Andre, is only going to church to dance and to feel emotion. That, that's all. That's all. Did you hear me? I said, when? When, 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 when? I'm just saying. When? When? Don't about, don't about, are y'all, do y'all, y'all with me? Hey, thank you, Chris. I appreciate that. Y'all, y'all, do, do y'all hear me? When, when do we get, when, when do we get tired? Are y'all tired? That, that's, that's what I want to say. Thank you. Do we, are, are y'all tired? Are y'all tired of just being entertained? Are y'all tired of being entertained? Y'all tired of being entertained? Y'all y'all remember the song You Won't Leave You Like You Came in Jesus name. Broken, battered, some even lame. You won't leave you like you came in Jesus name. You won't leave here. Like you came in Jesus' name. Oh, you won't leave here like you came in Jesus' name. We leaving like we came. But we singing a song. And we get caught. Yes, God. Oh, no, no, no. Oh, sin. We leaving like we came. We leaving like we came. Don't, ain't nobody been pricked to feel the change. Ain't nobody been pricked to stop doing what they doing. Ain't don't nobody care. But y'all want to tell people about sin, right? <laughs> You want to tell people I sing? Oh, I got, I got you, Tanika. You out here lying and your whole hopping. And I want to talk to you homosexual. God said you're going to hell. God said you're going to bust hell wide open. You homosexual and you lies. God, God, God. God said you homosexual. It's a shame of old God. You need to love you some women's. God said, you home in sections. And the church go wild. church that went wild. They ain't got nothing else to say but some, hom but some, but some homosexuals. <laughs> Half of them homosexuals because you made them homosexuals and they go for the women's is too. They go for the women's is too. Our homosexuals. I said it. Homosexuals. Half these men is gay because you made them gay. Period. Y'all didn't give these young men a choice, a chance to choose. You made them a homosexual. And then you want to confuse them and say it's a sin. Well, you made me this way. Come on here now. Mm-hmm. <laughs>
Yes, Gail, I'm clowning. You made them that way. I'm glad I don't have that testimony. Mm. <laughs> I don't have that testimony. Some of y'all nasty preachers is the reason why these women don't like men. Are y'all quiet now? Are you quiet now? You quiet now? You quiet now? We, we did, did James Cleveland sing that song? James Cleveland was around here taking advantage of the little boys. James Cleveland said, let us go back to church. Let us go back to church. Jesus is coming back again. Let us go back to church. Let's go back to church. Like for real, for real church. And you know what? You know what, Talmus and, and Chris and Shawty, you know what's funny? You know what's funny is that this has always been in the church. That's real. This has always been in the church. Somebody put a frowning face or whatever on my little cash app. No, it's there. It's there. It just, you know, it's there. The people like to support me and they ask me about it. So instead of asking me, it's right there. This has always been in the church. This is nothing new. Men taking advantage of young boys and young girls. It's always been in the church. And the church has covered it up. This. Y'all want to say it's a sin? Well, y'all making, making us sinners. If, if you want to really go that way, you, you really want to go there, niece? Y'all y'all didn't made us this way. You, you didn't made the women that way. So who is really the wrong one? We or you? You want to give us some Bible scriptures? You, you want to give us some Bible scriptures? Okay. I got a Bible scripture for you. The Bible says, woe be unto you preachers, you pastors, you lying prophets who scatter my sheep. How about that? You don't like what I'm saying? Oh, God. K. K. Baby, I'm telling you. Woo-hoo. I'm going to say that for when I talk to you offline. I'm going to say that because that's what I, I'm going to tell you what I really want to say. You don't like what I'm saying? I'm going to tell you what you need to do. This ain't the lie for you, daughter. Niece. The reason why we got lying preachers is because we taught them to be liars. And y'all wondering how we going to get the church back. Clean up. Clean up. Everything that is going on in the house of God, we have taught indirectly or straight up directly. A child don't come out the womb lying. A child don't come out the womb wanting to do all this foolishness. Hello.
The Bible didn't say some were born liars. It didn't say some were born adulterers. That ain't what Jesus said. And then y'all want to make things up. You want to make things up to fit your ways and, and stuff. This has been going on. This is been, has been going on. It has not stopped. Because nobody has took the time to put this stuff in check. Exactly. Half y'all preachers are responsible for a lot of these people having mental health problems. A lot of y'all are responsible for people having mental disorders because you made them crazy. Now, what I said wrong? What I said wrong? Help me. What I say wrong? What I say wrong? What I say wrong? A lot of you all are responsible for people having mental breakdowns because you have taken advantage of them. Come on here now. You have taken advantage of them and then you want to preach like what you did was okay and it was right. Huh? You don't, you don't like that, do you? you? You don't like that type of teaching, do you? You don't like that type of talking, do you? But you are responsible. You are responsible. You have taken advantage of the people and you've preached and you've used the word of God to justify your foolishness and your fandanglement. You wonder why these, these women feel like it's okay to be holes in the church. Because you sleeping with them and getting them pregnant and still trying to justify your actions. Uh, hello? Hello, somebody? Hello? No, Orlando, nothing happened. You good. You just late for service. Hey, Mama Scott. Hey, Tiki. Y'all, you mad? You, you mad? You want to preach against homosexuals and carrying on? You, you made them homosexuals. A good majority of them. Now you've turned them on to an appetite that they didn't even know nothing about until you introduced it to them. I'm sorry. Uh, hello. Let me confuse you one time for your mind. Nobody took advantage of me. I was never raped. I was never molested. But it is what it is. It is what it is. Did nobody molest me when I was a young age? I, this is what it was. Right here. Period. Good morning, church. I'm just saying. You want to sit out here and take advantage of these young girls. Y'all, I'm just, I'm trying to help somebody. You want to take advantage of these young girls. And now you got a whole family outside of your family because you've been sleeping with this young lady for 15, 20 years. Now you got grown children in the church that are not your wives. And now your wife is looking an embarrassed fool. Right, Mama Scott, it is what it is. How, how, how many... How many know some outside cheering that, that, that they didn't have throughout the church? These folks can't even call the preacher daddy. Ain't that a mess? So what they going to do on Father's Day? Oh, happy where is my Father's Day? But I'm looking right at them. I can't ask him for no child support because it's going to make the church look bad. Well, mercy me, you didn't already made the church look bad. Because the preacher got away with ding -a -ling and don't know how to control himself, but want to use the scripture to justify what he's doing. But didn't want to go to the woman after church and say, let me lay my hands on you. Hey, now, let me lay my hands on you. What you say now? What you say now? Let me lay my hands. No, sit down somewhere. 
Sit down somewhere. You want to talk about we, it, it needs to be a separation between sin and call sin and sin out. You don't sit your crooked behind down somewhere. But I'm sorry, it's never going to stop because this type of behavior is accepted in the church. We preach a good gospel while we don't live a good gospel. Y'all, I'm country. I'm, I don't apologize for that. I'm city country. Sometime you're going to get the city. Sometime you're going to get the country. Wayward dingling is from the country. Hoish behavior has been going on since the dawn of time. Don't nobody want to do right. Don't nobody want to do right. But you want to sit out here and preach about salvation, but you don't live salvation. So what are we doing? What are we doing? We just wasting time? I think so. I think so. Are, pe are there some people saved? Yes. There are some people that really live right. There are some people that are really living right. There really is. There really is, y'all. Let me let me let me just make this let me just make this disclaimer. There are people out here who are really living for the Lord, for real. There are people out here who are really living for God. They don't get the recognition because they're not in the whole club. Yeah, am I talk? I know I'm talking. They're not gonna get the recognition because they're not in the whole club. They're not doing what their whole buddy's doing. This stuff is exposed because there is a generation that's tired. This stuff is being exposed because there's a generation of people that's tired. I don't want to go to church. Mama Scott, I don't want to go to church. I told a preacher here in Tampa, I don't want to know your mess. I just want to come to church. That, that's it. I don't want nobody to tell me about who you sleeping with. I don't even want to know. I don't want to know. I don't want to know. I'm tired. I'm tired. I don't want to know. I don't want to know who I hear committing fraud in the church. I don't want to know. I went to somebody's church here and it was, oh my God, is that King Jazz? Oh, is he coming to do a story on us? How, how about y'all live right? I won't have to do a story. Matter of fact, I don't want to do a story. Why don't y'all do right in the church? Praise team members and carrying on, sleeping with everybody on the praise team. I don't want to know. Holiness is still right. Not whole weakness. I went to somebody else's church. Baby, the pastor, son, stepson came to me like, is that King J Are you King J I'm, I'm Demario. How are you? You want me to give you my church title? I'm Elder Jibes. God bless you. What can I do for you? Huh? Have you ever, yeah, I, I passed it before. I don't want to help you, Pastor. I just want to sit in the pews and see what you're talking about. Because, honey, I can stand up there in the pulpit and slay all day. No problem, niece. <laughs> no problem. <laughs> Quiz, I'm just saying. I'm just saying. I'm not king today. I'm, I'm, I'm elder. God bless you. Hallelujah. <laughs> I'm Elder Jives. Maybe if y'all do right, we won't have nothing to talk about. I, you know what? I be saying this stuff all the time. If you do right, yes, niece, yes. If you do right, I won't have nothing to talk about. 
us bloggers won't have nothing to talk about. Tara, I'm just. <laughs> oh, Father, I'm just saying. I'm, I'm just saying. Years ago, my church had a bishop who was, as some members say, good with the kids. Oh, well, honey, you know what good with the kids mean. He was sleeping with the children. Period. Y'all preachers, and I'm done. My members should not know what it's like to sleep with me. My members should not know what it's like to be with me in the bedroom. My members should not know what my, my private parts look like. That you, that, that, that you should not know. There is a separation. Uh, praise God. But y'all ain't got no integrity. That's the problem. You ain't got no integrity. Because one God didn't even call you. Ex exactly, Chevis. If you are the pastor, you need to know how to keep your hands to yourself. And learn how to use your words and stop saying suggestive things. Oh, this is the church. This is the church. This is the church. I don't... Let me let me tell y'all something, baby. Let me tell you, and, and 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 ain't no way in the world, honey. I ain't trying to look at nobody's children. Now let me tell you something. Let me tell you how to keep yourself. Now, hello, I'm talking to you, saints, angst, and friends, and you nasty behind priests. I'm talking, niece. I'm talking to you. If you know you got a problem, stop foot. Stop putting these folks' kids in your car. You know you don't know it. You have a problem controlling yourself. Stop putting yourself in these situations. Until you able. First of all, that's a that's that's an inner prayer problem that you need to deal with yourself. You have a fascination with people's young children. You need to deal with that. You need to get on your face and ask God to get you together all up and through, all up and through here. You shouldn't be looking at nobody's child getting erectile. And getting aroused. Sit down, niece. Get yourself together. You need to know how to have boundaries. I'm talking. You need to know how to have boundaries. Stop letting these folks' kids sit on your lap. Talking about this, my godson. Your dick getting hard. Get your woe. Oh. Period. Stop. It's not okay. You shouldn't even want nobody to have that named among you. But y'all preachers doing it. Y'all preachers doing it. <laughs> and it's okay. I don't understand how it's okay, but y'all y'all make it like it's okay. It's not okay. Oh, it goes on in the white church too. I'm talking to everybody. Black, white, brown, Puerto Ricans. I'm talking to all y'all. It's not okay. You want to be somebody's bishop. Shavers, they want to be your bishop, but they, they fondling you at 12. This little boy, ain't hey, don't even know what it's like to be a homosexual. But you teaching them how to suck dick. Are you, are you kidding me? Are you kidding me this morning? Lord, are you kidding me? Y'all women just as nasty too. Y'all sit up there with your nasty self. 
Yo, 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 spiritual daughters. Yo, spiritual daughters. And you teaching her how to lick coochie. What? What? Talking about some, you're supposed to take care of the man of God. Whoa, I'm telling you, I, I, whoa, I'm telling you, this is the stuff that makes me cuss y'all out. You spiritualize things and you cover up stuff. What? You don't need no organ behind this. You don't need no organ behind this. Having these young men and young women traveling with you so they can be your armor bearer. Okay, you bearing arms, all right. You bearing dick and coochie too. This this is my this is my this is my son in the gospel. This your son in the gospel. And you got your son in the gospel bathing you. You got your son in the gospel caressing yourself. That's nasty. All in your body down. Man. It's not okay. It is not okay. It is not okay. Jazz, you talk. Oh, I'm going to tell, tell you. Because it was a preacher here in Florida who died from that mess. Sure did. Sure did. Eric D. Lloyd used to do that mess all the time. Not the one up there in, in, uh, in Michigan. I'm talking about the one down here in Florida that was in Atlanta. He died from that mess. Had boys and girls around him. Honey, changing them down to his draws. And changing his draws after he get through preaching. Gotta wipe them off. What? Oh, I, I saw, I sainted, I sainted. I seen it. Who is this? Hold on. Jason Singleton. How did I seen it? I seen it. Oh, honey, they ain't do nothing to me. They ain't do nothing to me. I had to go right back to the hotel room. Touching on each other and carrying on. Who does that? Nobody made me mad this morning. You just came in on a tail end, Jason. That's all. This, this, this is a behavior. That, that really needs to be checked in the church. This is a behavior that goes on in the church. And y'all mean to tell me we dancing across this?